Howdy, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go to a very easy rock counting spot up past Sweet Home to get some pyrite crystals. Let's get driving. All right, we made it. So right behind me is where we can find some pyrite crystals. This is a very easy rock counting spot. You don't really need any tools except for one thing, a container. <laughs> They're so easy to pick up, it's ridiculous. So let's go get some. So I will say to, oh my gosh, people left trash here. Tisk tisk. Well, I guess before we get started, we'll go ahead and just pick up this stuff here. Like that. All right. Where was I? Oh yeah. So with this spot. Uh, the pirate crystals are very easy to get. They're all up to this material right here. They're in the wall. But honestly, you don't really have to dig them out of the wall. They're just, they're just kind of in the float here. I will say, be careful of uh, anything up above. That might come down because uh, we are in the wet season right now where stuff is a little loose. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Let's see here. Let's see if I find a good spot. I mean, really, they're everywhere, but... I don't know if you can see it or not. Little pyrite crystal. So, they're in the float, or in the material that's rolled down. Of course, when the sun comes out, they, they tend to sparkle. Um, so yeah. Simple as plucking them out of the ground. Pop. Very little pieces of candy. It's kind of crazy. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but they're just, they're literally everywhere. Well, that's a good size one. Look at that. That's cool. I haven't really been up here in some time. It's got some pie right here in the matrix. Let's see if we can zoom in. It's really hard for the camera to pick it up, but they're literally everywhere. Got two there. Got a bunch down here. Got some on the host rock here. Too cool. I'll actually keep that as a specimen piece. Oh, I just saw a cool one. I don't oh, wait, there it is. Ooh, it's a big one. That's a biggie. But just look at that. Isn't that cool? Again, it's right next to the road. This is right here. <laughs> I really wish the camera could pick it up, but from my point of view, like I'm seeing like little glitter just everywhere in here. Let's see if we can make it up a little bit. Again, we have to be careful because you know everything is wet. I don't want to fall. Nobody wants that. And the hard part is not wanting to pick stuff up on the way up. But you can see just how easy it is to collect this material. Oh, it's everywhere. You're so cool. You up here in the wall now. So, I mean, theoretically, you could bring a pick with you, 
and pick this stuff out of the wall, but honestly, it doesn't really make any sense to do so if it's already out here in the float. Um, but it, it's <laughs> it's in the wall. You can see them just everywhere, just in the wall. That's so cool. It's down there. Never be able to turn off the camera just for a second. Find this really nice, shiny, big one. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'll try to find some bigger ones if I can. So I guess I'll do this for a little bit. <laughs> So one thing I will point out here is like when you're looking for these pirate crystals to kind of move in different directions because uh, the light's gonna tell you where the crystals are at by reflecting. Um, so you might walk over one big piece and then turn around at a different angle and you might see it. And even when the sun comes out, the, the whole, <laughs> this will all glitter and it's hard to really pay attention. But, uh, so that's my little pointer when you come here. Again, you don't need much except for a little container and your fingers to kind of pick these out. <laughs> But aside from that, I'm all done here. I don't really need a whole lot of specimens because I already have a fair amount of rock. I just want to kind of show you what you can find out here. So in the short time that we have been on here, we got uh, a fair amount of little pyrite crystals. We'll clean this up here in a little bit. I even got a few uh, specimens that have the pyrite stuck in the uh, host material. So uh, let's get these all cleaned up. All right, it's been a couple days and I'm back here in the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up. And this process is super easy. All we're gonna do is just rinse these off with some water and dry them and call it good. Doesn't need much really. All right, now that we have all the specimens cleaned up, let's take a closer look at the specimens that are still in the host material. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. So it's actually pretty neat to kind of see the different variations of the pyrite in the host material. It's really cool. Now, I'm not sure what the host material is, but I'm sure that uh, with more research, I can probably figure it out. But uh, either way, it's still a very easy rock hounding spot. Super easy. I mean, again, you just need a container in your fingers <laughs> to pick these up.
That is so neat. Just to see the crystals embedded into the material here. So cool. We have this one here. They almost kind of like flattened, almost. You can kind of see where there is maybe a, a fracture in the material. And the pyrite just kind of filled in that, that crevice. So cool. And this one here kind of looks like it's fractured right there. And right there. Oh. <laughs> that didn't take very much. So, yeah, you can kind of see how uh, fragile some of these can be. But still, that's, you, you can get some solid pieces in there. Yeah, that's kind of broken. But that's okay. This one was already kind of uh, soft as far as material goes. I'm surprised I made it this, this far. And our last display piece. This one's actually really nice. Uh, nice sharp edges. Looks like it's kind of oxidized a little bit. That's okay. Still a really cool piece. Now for the rest of our finds. So these are the pyrite crystals that I was kind of just plucking out of the ground. And again, it's just such a super easy rock counting spot. You just need a container and your fingers and you're good to go. Uh, all the sizes of these crystals will vary. They're not all going to be the same size, the same shape, etc. Um, even the lessers of the crystals will uh, really vary. But still, you can find some very beautiful crystals of pyrite at that location. So, uh, as far as value go, these aren't really worth much of anything. <laughs> um, it's just more for the fun of it. And just kind of the adventure. This one was, it was starting to kind of... Yeah, I can tell that's dirt. Is it dirt? This one was starting to maybe rust a little bit. But still, it's more about the adventure. And just kind of get out into um, the wilderness and get away from town. Enjoy the, the time out in nature. And bring home a little treasure with you on the way back. Okay, for how I found out about this area. So my friend took me to this spot um, several years ago. It was quite some time ago. And then he busted out this book. It's The Gem Shells of Oregon by Garrett Romain. It's on page 56 and even has a picture of what the site looked like beforehand. Now, as you can tell from my video footage, that uh, a lot has changed in this spot since this picture was taken. Um, and it's not accessible all the time. So if there's a fire season going on, it's the gate's probably gonna be closed, and the gate is it's uh like two miles ish from the gate to the spot. So unless you're up for a hike, you go for it. But I would recommend it. It's it's quite a quite a hike up there. Um, so on speaking of gates, if the gate's closed, just disrespect the gate and don't go through it. Um, and just kind of wait for this spot to be open again. The rocks will be there when the gate opens back up. <laughs> Um, this is my third time having trying to go out there in a year period to, to try to get to these crystals so I can do a video. So I'm glad I was actually able to do so this time. But um, yeah, so again, you don't need hardly any tools for this spot. It's just like a container in your fingers. And if you see trash, pick it up. Uh, but yeah, so thank you so much for coming with me on this adventure. If you guys have any more questions or comments, leave them in the section down below. Hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on.